Hi, I'm Tyson Franklin, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of practicing. Practice, practice, practice until it is perfect, and then practice some more. Don't assume that just because everyone's doing everything right, that everybody knows what to do under certain circumstances. Now, the reason I bring this up, I was at my daughter's dance concert on the weekend, and she was great, proud parent moment. During one of the, the concerts, during one of the songs, there was a group of kids on stage, they're about eight to 10. No one was older than 10, and there were probably a few that were a little bit younger than eight. About 40 seconds into it, Gangnam Style, they were up there dancing away, everything was great, the music stopped. And then all of a sudden, none of them stopped and looked at each other and think, oh, what do we do now? The music has stopped. Not one of them missed a beat. They just kept going through the dance moves. They moved to different places on stage. This went on for about a minute. And when the music came back on, they were probably, I would guess, half a beat off from where they should have been. Then they made a quick adjustment. They were straight back into it. They finished a routine, standing ovation from everybody. Now, during intermission, because this happened in the first half, that's the thing that everybody spoke about was how good were those kids when the music stopped? They didn't let it affect them. They didn't throw the towel in. They didn't spit the dummy out. How does this relate to your podiatry business? It relates in so many ways. Adversity is going to happen in your practice. You're going to have equipment breakdown. You're going to have staff members not turn up because they were sick that day. You're going to have patients come in who are angry. Do you know how to handle things when it happens? And you should be planning for this way ahead. Don't wait until something happens before you know what you're going to do next. It should just be when something happens, when the music stops in your business, in some aspect, everybody knows what to do next. I've seen podiatrists in other practices where they will be telling me a story that, oh, yeah, we were going to do this, but this piece of equipment broke, and therefore we couldn't do it. The patient had to leave. I'm thinking, well, why didn't you just do this? And they went, oh, I never thought about that. That's what you need to do is think of all the aspects of your practice. If something went wrong, what can you do? I remember one particular day in my practice, this is a little bit weird, had someone booked in for nail surgery. They came in, they sat down. I gave them the injection, and all of a sudden, power went out. We had no power. Room was completely dark. And they went, oh, what are we supposed to do? I said, not a problem, bring in some candles. And the patient said, can you do it with candlelight? I said, not only can I do it, I said, this is going to be the ro most romantic nail surgery you will ever get done. Now, when you think about when you're doing nail surgery, are you really looking at what you're doing? Or you're, you're sort of watching what you're doing, but a lot of the things that you're doing, you're doing by feel. Everything goes by feel, how the nail feels against the instruments, all that. So we brought a few candles in because this patient was already numbed up. They were ready to go. We didn't know how long it was going to take before the power came back on. And I went, I'm not going to throw the towel in here. Bring them some candles, light those buggers up, and let's just go on with it. Did the procedure. Everything went perfect. Patient was extremely happy because they traveled a fair way to come as well. So think about that in your own practice. Adversity is going to happen. Just accept that. But when it happens, how is everybody in your team going to respond? And this is even more important when the employer, the owner of the business is away on holidays. Do you want phone calls every single time you're away that something's broken, this has happened, got no power, plumbing problems, uh, a problem with the patient? Oh, we had a complaint from a health fund. Does everybody know what to do next? Does everybody know the dance moves? And do they know what to do when the music stops? Because at some stage, the music will stop and everybody needs to know the routine and what to do next. That is the point of this video. Hope you get something from that. And I'll talk to you again later on. Bye.